Hey YouTube, my name's Steph and my partner is a collector, which makes me a collector by proxy. So today I wanted to hop on and talk to you guys about a really cool game that Andrew got in the mail the other day. Uh, I got home from work and he sat me down and was like, you have to play this game. This is so much fun. I want you to try it out. And he uh, introduced me to Demons of Astaborg. And yeah, he was absolutely right. I very much enjoyed it and it was a great time. Uh, so Neofid Studios put out this 16-bit cartridge for the Sega Mega Drive. I believe it's also available on Steam and for the Nintendo Switch. This was a Kickstarter that Andrew supported for this studio. Um, and holy cow, uh, for a Sega game, this is incredible. Um, they fit so much on this cartridge. It is, well here, let, let's just take a look at the cartridge. Apparently it's like the biggest cartridge, not like physically, it's like a regular size cartridge, but in terms of what it has on it, I guess. Does that make sense? Um, and you can totally tell. This game has nine levels, I think, plus a bonus level. And the artwork on this these levels is incredible. Um, there's so much detail in so much depth for a 16-bit game and also so much color and yeah it, it blew me away uh, right away I was like this is not your normal Sega Mega Drive game um, and it was just so impressive right away. The game is a Castlevania like game um, action platformer um, I was really worried it was going to be way too hard because as soon as Andrew said like Castlevania I was like uh I really suck at platformers <laughs> right uh, I think that's one of the things I say most on <laughs> this channel uh, is how much I suck at action platformers but I actually had a really good time and a lot of fun having to go back and figure this out Again, this game gives you so much. There's a huge story, which is not really normal for like these kinds of, like not these kinds of games, but like for a Sega game, like you don't really fit a whole bunch of story, but right away you've, you've got like, as soon as you start the game, you've got your story and like what's happening in the world and who your character is. You're not just some like random figure. You actually have a character with a backstory and a mission and stuff is happening. And it's so like rich right off the hop, which uh, I think is what compelled me to want to keep playing for someone who isn't very good at these kinds of games. Um, and again, the artwork was just so cool. So you play as Gareth, who is a knight. Um, he is the guy that was on the cartridge there. This is the manual for the game. And you are going through and defeating these goblins and demons that are starting to take over your city. And you get a huge backstory about the demons and what's going on with them. And yeah, it was just really fun. I only played the first level um, so far, but I'm definitely going to be playing the rest of this game. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else I should say. Um, I just wanted to come on and like, this is like a sample of the kind of stuff you see in this game. Oh, and you also get sticker, got stickers. We got stickers. So, you know I like my extra stuff. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on quick and share with you guys this game. There is just so much 
on this cart, you know, and it is just so impressive. And I just really wanted to come on and give the Neofid, I hope I'm saying it right, Neofied. I feel like there would be an E at the end. But anyways, uh, Neofid Studios, I wanted to just come on and give them props and say like, you guys should definitely need to check out this game if you enjoy action platformers. Um, again, it's on Nintendo Switch or Steam, so you don't need a Sega, but you, if you have a Sega Mega Drive, it's outstanding. It's outstanding what they were able to do with this. Um, but, oh, I should talk about the enemies. Um, there's off the hop, there's a lot of different kinds of enemies. Um, the platforming is progressively difficult, but not super difficult. It's a little hard to jump. There's a bit of a delay. Um, even Andrew was saying that there was, it wasn't just me. Um, but yeah, the enemies were really cool. And like the first boss, like is kind of shocking, like in terms of like, whoa, like the you know how the boss has always has like an opening move like an opening thing that they do I was like whoa that was dark whoa like this guy means business um so I'm excited to see the other bosses as well and what they have to offer um and yeah so thanks so much for watching guys uh I really enjoyed this game will give you one more shot. Also, can we talk about the box, like the grid, like such a good design. Like this is such an awesome throwback to like the Sega, what are these called? Like the Sega boxes with the grid and everything. Okay. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.